One single day, $244 billion. That's how much Oracle added to its value in a single session. To put that in perspective, India's top IT companies, Tata Consultancy Services, valued at roughly $135 billion. Infosys in the $76 billion range, Wipro around $32 billion. The three companies are valued at roughly $243 billion. Oracle essentially captured the sum of that in a single session. Oracle's one-day climb was almost 80% of that. Just take a moment to think about that. These are leaders in India's IT services, not even IT products, the result of decades of work, millions of employees, billions in revenues, each worldwide, and Oracle captured most of that wealth creation in few hours. And here's where it gets even more unbelievable. So after this rally, Oracle's market cap is now over $1 trillion. This puts Oracle into a group so elite that you can count the members on your fingers. In history, only a few companies have broken that barrier. Oracle has just joined them thanks to one historic trading day. And with that, even its co-founders' net worth also shot up. Riding on the back of this extraordinary rally, Larry Allison gained over $100 billion in a single day, making his net worth to about $393 billion. But this was not some miracle overnight. If you go back a few years, in 2019, Oracle was around $200 billion in value. By 2021, Oracle was nearly 300 billion. In 2023, as the gold rush of artificial intelligence emerged, Oracle reached 500 billion. Earlier this year, it surpassed 700 billion. And now, after one rally, Oracle just made over the trillion dollar mark. It went from zero to over 800 billion in value in just five years. So what triggered this? Two things. First, artificial intelligence, Oracle's cloud business has become the backbone of AI ecosystem. System. Every chatbot, every large language model, every so-called smart app needs computing power and Oracle sells that power. Second, earnings. Oracle's most recent results beat expectations of Wall Street. Revenues were stronger than expected. Profits exploded. Investors saw the numbers and rushed in. Billions in Oracle's shares. And then there's Oracle's massive backlog worth $455 billion of orders tied to Stargate project. Even the Wall Street's asking who else would be placing those orders. But the larger story is about scale. The big Indian IT majors, TCS and Infosys, Wipro are global giants. No one questions that, but they are service-driven companies. More contracts, more employees, more customers, more gradual growth. Oracle is an infrastructure company, and in the world of AI and cloud, growth is not slow or linear. It's rapid. This is why the markets treat Oracle differently. This is why with one day of wealth creation, Oracle created more wealth than nearly the market value of India's three biggest IT firms combined. So the question is, if Oracle can grow this big this quickly, where does that leave India's IT giants? Can they reshape for the AI era? Should India also focus on creating infrastructure rather than just outsourcing services? Tell us what you think, like, share, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to follow One Stats on Instagram and X for stories that dig deeper than the headline. Stay tuned to One Stats for the news that matters.